everyone i hope everybody's doing well blessed and enjoying family and as always please allow me to start off by thanking everybody for you guys's words prayers and for everything you express and wish my way gracias and before i get into the story do allow me to update everybody well today i went and did uh a couple exams tests and the doctors are as confused as I am, to be sincere. I don't know if they just don't care or, you know, but, uh, that don't really matter. You know, I thank God because, uh, if things maintain as so tomorrow and Wednesday, then I'll be able to get my last chemo on Thursday at the latest Friday, which is what I've been hoping and praying for. I don't want a lot of time lapse to go by and, you know, I'm so close, but thank you on everybody's wishes on today's video and prayers. You know, I'm lost at words. You guys, along with God, have the time I've been on here have really humbled me in a lot of aspects that I did not know. And for that, I'm, I'm forever grateful, whatever that's worth. But anyways... Today I want to continue off on where I left off yesterday in my story. Now I do know that there's a lot of people that get tired of my story. So after this one, I'm going to pause it and I am going to touch on certain individuals that I gave my word I was going to touch on for, for, uh, some subscribers that have been requesting them. Do forgive me. Uh, I did not forget. Is yes, you know, I want to be able to put my story out there in full and, you know, then if God allows it, I could bounce around and touch on different subjects, but I will touch on them. Gracias for your patience. And again, do forgive that, uh, I've taken so long. But anyways, to the topic on hand, um, you know, this had just secure, occurred in full right. B section, right? With Spanky and Loquito. And, uh, again, I had already came from, uh, from Fort Left. There was already the incident with, uh, also from Guerrero and, uh, and Bullet from Compton. As I have already put that story out there. And, uh, so, you know, there, there's been a couple conflicts that had occurred while I was there. And, you know, I was naive of the squad being aware of everything that's happening. As I'm sure a lot of camaradas are when they're there, you know, we tend to think that we're undetectable, right? Or that I express my respect, my love to camaradas. So I'm going to touch their heart when it comes to dropping that, that wheel when the hood of that's counter, whatever, right? Again, it was me being dumb. But anyway, you know, there's been a story put out there about this camarada from a certain channel. As you guys know, I just don't do, you know, brands, names, none of that, you know, when it comes to YouTube, because I don't want to get tangled in, in that back and forth stuff, right? But uh, anyways, everything that this channel put out about this camarada... You know, I could actually co-sign it to be true, right? Because uh, Osito from 18th Street, he happened to be right there with us, right? And uh, his Sally was Shadow from 3rd. As I mentioned in my last story, Shadow was the one that was showing his mask on when it came to frontlining uh, the section, right? 
Me personally, I thought I was in the shadows, but again, it was just me being an idiot, right? And, uh, anyways, shadow had came from, uh, from high desert. And the reason why I put him there, cause, uh, we had history to the point where we had done things for, uh, for Terco from Bassett, you know, and, uh, even though everything was shot to Artie, it came back todo bien, right? Again, I never had no backlash for supporting Terco and Ironwood. Neither did the camaradas, uh, Shadow. His celly was coming from Shadow and he was Artie's boy. Cause, uh, Artie had a mean squat when it came to camaradas from 18, you know? Maybe it had to do with Inyo. But it was Osito, Boxer, Gizmo. You know, there was a few that were actually uh, supporting Artie, if you could say it like that. So, anyways, this happened with uh, the homies from the homie from Bakersfield and Spanky, and uh, everything was calm, right? But you see, the way they play their chess game is they do everything in silent. And when things ricochet, they play that fifth, you know, that what, what? I don't know. I don't know what he's talking about. Yes, at one point I could have spoke for him, but he's out of my jardin. I can't put my hands in the fire for his actions once he's out my reach, right? Those are their words when it comes to camaradas. And they basically get a camarada to do things for them under the water. And for this, you know, what happened with these two camaradas, of course, you know, I like to reach out, especially when Shadow with my bloquero to make sure everything was firmness in the cell and everything was cool. You know, I even one day pulled Osito on the yard and I told him, look, if Artie, because of this, this and that, because he's aware of Shadow, Please let me know and don't allow it to escalate, right? And he said, Simon, no sin ningún problema. And I told him the reasons, you know, Shadow's a good homie. He was at this jardin where the Billy was in charge and he was supporting the causa, right? Per se. But it's none of his fault. We got to look out for, for our gente too, you know? We can't just go around smashing our own. So anyways, it was a conversation to that sense, right? And, uh, but I never thought to, uh, to speak with Shadow, right? Cause he was older. I actually thought he had more colmillo than Osito. But, you know, Terco was just one of those that held grudges. You know, already had already moved on a couple soldados of his. There was a back and forth tough between them. You know, there been a lot of soldados that came to Artie's pad and they got put on the hat and removed. As us homies that ended up in Terco Sardinas, right, where he was in charge. It went both ways. But, you know, this happened to be Terco's move, which he got into shadow and, uh, you know, if I sat here and told you exactly the conversation between both of them, I will be making it up, right? But the uh, the end of everything was that one night the camarada Shadow he, he just started going to town on Osito and uh till the Hooters dragged him out, right? And uh don't know how many times he broke them, all I know that you know they ended up <coughs> leaving Shadow there and uh moving Osito to A section. And of course, you know, I shot that on my peel up there and I, I asked what had happened. I was hoping it was a disrespect thing where, uh, it could have been an in-house incident, right? I didn't have to report outside, but, uh, now everything came to flow that, uh, you know, it was requested by, by T and, uh, you know, Shadow had that on my peels from the Senor from Bassett which were presented, right, to Artie. But as you guys probably know how Artie is, he didn't want to hear it. 
Shadow was stuck in Cork and then his career was done. And uh, he got put on the hat. He got put on single cell. You know, I happened to leave to Salinas. And uh, about a month after this. And when I came back, he wasn't there no more. So I couldn't tell you where he headed off. If he decided to, you know, tap in. But I could imagine, you know, when uh, an explanation got requested from Tercum, me seeing that on my pills, right? It was nobody he said, she said stuff. Me seeing that on my pills and me being under Terco at one point, knowing the angles that my pills come from and the way they come from him, there was no doubt that they came from him. And when I requested, uh, uh, que paso aquí? I don't know. Homeboy took actions on his own. I guess he thought he was going to please me, but I don't go into another brother's pad and disrespect him in his own house like this. He acted on his own. Once he said that, he sealed the camarada's faith. It's what they do. You know, they play chess. And for those that play chess, you know, sometimes the best move is to attack, laugh in your enemy's face, in their home, and sacrifice that pawn. It's exactly what happened here. You know, Osito, there's no need to even say, you know, that was already soldado, so he maintained good. But, you know, uh, I came back to three right, to three, to four right, excuse me on A side and Osito was still there. He completed uh, his shoe turn and he got sent to high desert. It is why I say uh, that the story that got put out on him from this other channel, you know, I could co-sign it to be true because they put out how Terco at one point requested Osito where he was at to deal with him himself. And it goes back to uh to this incident, right? I believe so. And but again, there could have been other things, but the main one had to be that he was already soldado, which I'm surprised that after so long uh he was able to hit high desert as they were already on the linea and uh, he was still good because most of the homies that were for Artie at this time, they had to rotate with him. But, you know, I just want to close this chapter. Uh, so the next one I'm going to be touching in on how squad came and uh, how they tried uh, to hit me with a validation and how things unfolded to the point where I ended up in Salinas Valley. And, uh, well, I will get into it again. Please forgive me. I'm going to put my story on pause, maybe two, three episodes. And I hope you guys understand. But with this, I just wanted to expand on how, you know, on the outside, I'm going to talk about me. You know, we're always taught to, to be soldados. But if we really want to be somebody for our neighborhood or where it counts, we need to go in and please the same rituals. But I hope that with what I speak on, you can see how small glimpse and how there's no place in these guys. You're going to waste your life as my stupid self, you know, to go sit down and uh, make a whole bunch of rules and regulations or camaradas follow them. And for what? So that you take three steps positive forward and four or five trancasos are going to hit you from different angles to let you know that they're playing a chess game and we ain't none of the important pieces. You know, castle, horse, bishop, all that. That's their line of command. Some think they're more powerful than the next, right? But to know the only people you have a meaningful is those ones that are telling you, mijo, 
come home and eat. Me I don't want you in prison. Or your girl pregnant that tells you to touch her heart for the baby. I was there. You know, I left my kid, the one that passed away when he was five months old. My other one was six months. You know, and uh, I speak about it because I was there. I was willing to let go of everything, everything for the causa, the campolero causa, just to, uh, to go in and realize you're going to be chasing the dolphins money and dope to feed his habit, to feed his pride. So, you know, be smart, stay true to yourself and loyal to your loved ones. Gracias. I hope everybody's well. I send my love. Muy buenas noches. Uh -huh.